Hi everyone and welcome back to Switch Up and to the series where I look at a few upcoming RPGs and all of the ones I'm going to mention actually come out in the month of April. It's going to be a pretty stacked one for RPG fans so don't panic this won't include everything that's going to come out this year but certainly some interesting ones. Now a lot of these will have physical copies you can save 5% over at PlayAsia using code SWITCHUP23. There's links to all of that in the description. Alright what are the best RPGs coming in the next few months? Well let's find out. First up we've got the Mage Seeker, a League of Legends story which releases on April the 18th and honestly I didn't know anything about this until last week when Glenn mentioned it was coming up. It's developed by Digital Sun and is a single player RPG action experience. You play as Silas who is a spell stealing mage. He's just broken out of captivity and the chains that were once binding you have now become your weapon. Sounds really interesting this one and is all set around the time of rebellion and has me quite intrigued so yeah keep an eye out for this one when it drops next week. Hopefully will have some form of review or coverage. Demacia, the city of radiant virtue. It is time to reveal the truth of its darkness. You know what's coming next, we have the Final Fantasy Pixel Remasters from the legendary Square Enix themselves and includes the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th and 6th games. From what I can see on the eShop you can actually buy these individually, which will be good because there are quite a few people that just want 6 and yeah. You can do exactly that. They describe these as remodeled 2D takes on some of the games such as 6 but obviously retaining the same storyline. The Steam release of this one is very critically acclaimed. I think it has 8.9 on Metacritic and honestly I've not finished half of these. I started quite a few of them on mobile and my real Final Fantasy adventures began with Final Fantasy 7 and then I had to go back to play some of the older ones so having them all together on my Switch I'm really looking forward to that. Just to experience from what I've heard at least are some of the better stories in the series. Also coming out on the 19th we have the really nice looking Lost Epic which is a 2D side scrolling action RPG that I think has a co-op mode, it certainly has online co-op. talk about because I'll be in Glenn's video tomorrow such as Labyrinth of Zangetsu from P-Cube and Park Story. Then if we jump ahead we've got one called After Image which comes out on the 25th of April. This looks to be another fast paced real time action RPG with Metroidvania roots. It's all set in and around an ancient metropolis and is developed by Oregon Shanghai and brought to us by Modus Games who have quite the history of this type of experience. I would say that this one is less RPG and more action adventure but I'm still including it because I like the look of it. It has an entirely non-linear world and it's based in and around the years following what was known as the Raising, a cataclysmic event that almost destroyed humanity. You play as an amnesiac girl who wants to go out and investigate these events. She's called Renee and she leaves her destroyed village and heads off to try and save the world. Once again, I would still stay in bed. This looks absolutely lovely and it does have a physical as well. I'm not sure if this one's on PlayAsia, but if it is, do use our code SWITCHUP23 to save yourself 5%. Gotta love that plug. Also on the 25th we have Fairy Fencer F Refrain Chord. I don't know who comes up with these names. <laughs> it's a release from Idea Factory and is a classic RPG but it does have tactical turn-based combat. The story centers around the battle between the goddess and the vile god and the weapons they created which were called the Furies were scattered across the earth following their battle and are then sought out by the warriors known as the Fencers. And as I'm sure you can gather that's where you come in playing as Fang who unexpectedly became a Fencer and is joined by a couple of companions 
to go and find these mysterious weapons. Sounds very cool, sounds classically RPG, and I'm quite interested to see what happens when that one releases on April the 25th. On that same day, we've also got Trinity Trigger. This is an action RPG dungeon crawler, and it's another that's really caught my eye. It's based on classic 90s RPGs, but tries to emphasize fast-paced combat. In what seems like an absolute clone of the last storyline we heard, it centers around the gods of war and the gods of chaos who waged war for control of the world. Now, to save them completely destroying the planet, they named a champion in their stead to do the fighting for them, and they were known as the God Warriors. Centuries passed by until a young man named Cyan, well, he discovers that, yeah, he was named the Warrior of Chaos, destined to do battle on behalf of these gods, which is definitely going to spoil your Sunday afternoon nap. They head off off, and I say they because we all know there's going to be two companions and they'll join you. But what's very cool is you can actually play this one, I believe, local co-op. It has itself classified as a one to three player game. So yeah, it'd be interesting to see how that plays out. But I always like the idea of multiplayer RPGs, as long as you can find someone with the patience to sit with you and play through them, story and all. This looks very cool and it comes out on the 25th of April. You're no ordinary environment. Those strange weapons be. Pay less mind to whatever they are, and more to who can. There are a couple of other ones. There's a game called Mugen Souls, which is releasing on April the 27th, but it's all a bit weird and features nudity and bits and bobs I don't really want to mention, especially when you look at the characters. There's the update to Treachery and Beatdown City Ultra Remix, but I wouldn't call that an RPG. And then Monster Menu The Scavenger's Cookbook, which is a dungeon crawler that comes from Nipponichi Software and features a group of wandering, aimless travellers lost in a dungeon who have got no food and water. They stumble on the corpse of a giant monster. And, uh. <laughs> I'm not making this up, they ate its rotten leg, which knocks them out, and then they wake up in an abandoned camp. That then starts them off on expeditions, eating monsters and other hideous creations that they can knock together. Absolutely bonkers. I actually want to play this one now. ...not only restores calories and water, but can also increase stats and grant skills to help you on your adventure. Rotten food may have adverse effects, but it can be a great weapon if used effectively. So that's it. Let me know in the comments. Are you an RPG fan as well? This is a series that I like to update every so often so that you know the RPGs that are coming out in the following month or months. As I said at the start, if you're a physical collector, save yourself 5% using code SWITCHUP23 over at SWITCHUP. I said it at the start, but if you do use PlayAsia, save yourself 5% and support the channel using code SWITCHUP23. Thanks to all of you, to our new subscribers, to everyone that enjoys RPGs like me. Hope you have a lovely weekend, and uh, yeah, for all things Switch all the time, keep your Switch up. Cheers, guys. See you.